Hello everyone and welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. Today, um, another in the little series of pin stitch or pin embroidery. Today we are going to do this little flower. Now I've done it on this here because I'm going to make a journal card from it. I'll back it with some tea dyed paper. So, as I say, this is what we're going to make. Um, the pattern is here on this file or paper. You can download this with these patterns on it. They'll be linked below so that way you can follow along. So let's start. I've cut my pattern out, which is there, and I've used my little foam thing and put the holes onto this other piece of paper. So we are going to start with this little piece in the middle. So come up from the back and as always we'll tape the end down. Now for this little piece we are going to do the same as we do did the circles doesn't really matter where you start and then we are going to go you can either oh, hold on yeah we'll go over to this one okay and then we're just going to do our clockwise and we're just going to go around and around. I will make a playlist for these to make it easier for people to find them. The next, we're going to do all four flowers on here. We'll kind of do a step by step thing. So there is our center of our flower. So we'll put a piece of tape on the back. And as always, we're not going to worry too much about the back because we will uh, cover it up with tea dyed paper or something anyways. Okay, so now the color of our flower. I'm going to do it the same as what I've done on here. So we'll get some of this pinkish purplish color. This is a fairly easy pattern. And we've already done a lot of the theory that it takes to do this, which is doing clockwise and just going around and around. So now we've got our five petals. So I'm going to go up into the point of a flower. Tape the back of my thread. So now basically I'm going to go around. I'm going to go straight down to the bottom right there in the middle. Hopefully you can see that. And then again I'm going to go clockwise and I'm just going to go in one and And we're just going to keep going until we've gone through all the holes in this one petal of the flower. Variegated thread is really nice when you do flowers because then you get kind of different colors in, in the petals. It looks pretty nice. But you could use sewing thread, you could use some kind of fine string. 
embroidery floss well it comes in so many different colors and I have pretty much every color of it so back and forth we go Getting to our last one. So there we have one petal complete. So now we will do the same thing to the other four petals. So I'm just going to do that off the of camera and I'll be back when they're all done. Okay, so now I've got all five petals done. And they're all done exactly in the same way. So I've got my yellow thread loaded on my needle. So we're going to do the border part. So it doesn't really matter where you start on that. And we're just going to do like we did in the first lesson with the circles. So depending on a few things is how far do we want to go and a good way to determine that is to just pull your thread to what hole you might think you want to start with. How close do you want it to the petals? How thick of a little outside frame do you want? So that can really depend and that gives you an idea of how close it's going to be just by holding. So if we go to there it's going to kind of pretty much touch the petals. So whichever hole it's kind of cross. I like to have a bit of a border so I'm going to go to there. Which that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the seventh one away from where I started. So now doing in our clockwise we are going to just do a circle so we are going to keep going around until we get that little V in each hole so not sure if you can see on this one but each of these holes has two threads coming out in a V shape so if you um, Rewatch the first video on the circle. Oops. And it'll go into more detail on how to do this part. But we are just going to keep going around all the way around. And it's just going to make that nice little frame. And always going in the same direction. Starting right here is where we're starting in the holes we've already done, which is going to make that little V shape. So in one, up the other. And back over. And then we we'll get that nice little border. I'm just going to finish this off of camera and I'll come back when it's all done. So I'm just about done here. I just got a couple more stitches to do. And this is the last one here. And let's 
cheap off our thread. And there we have our finished design. The one nice thing with the uh, pattern sheet there is once you have cut it off, you could put it anywhere on the card. And when I poke, use my pokey tool to poke out my pattern, I will do two at a time just because you can do two. Three is getting kind of hard. You got to give it a pretty good push to get it through three things of cardstock. But the two is actually pretty good. So with this pattern sheet, too, that you can download. You can make it smaller or bigger just by adjusting your printer settings. Um, keeping in mind that the bigger you make it, the more wider apart your, your holes are going to be. And the smaller you print it, the closer they're going to be. So if they get too close, then it's really hard to, to get all your, your pin holes in the right spots, I found. So, but these are far enough apart on here that you've got a little bit of leeway on making it a tiny bit bigger or a tiny bit smaller, if you like. So, that's it for this flower. We'll have three more flowers to do, and we will do those together on camera. And when I get to the slow spots, I'll just speed up the video or pause it and come back just so it doesn't get too boring. And it gives you some time to do what you have to do to do the pattern and then on to the next step. So I hope you like this little series. I will make a playlist for it and make it easier for you to follow it along. And also on this one, instead of doing the circle around it, you could just do a running stitch around the outside as well. So, and I have a video called Keep Me in Stitches that can show you how to do a running stitch. So we'll see you again soon in the next video. And I hope you hit that subscribe button. And bye for now.